You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil uh, Armstrong, yeah. Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that uh, because those guys are, yeah. You know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. Did you expect them to cheer you on? So they're hoping they would. What are you trying to prove to them? What I'm trying to do is, is to make a, a significant difference in, in space flight and, and, and help make space flight accessible to, to almost anyone. One of the most difficult choices I've ever faced uh, in life was, was in 2008. Um, and um, I think I had uh, like a, maybe $30 million left in, or thirty or forty million dollars left in two thousand eight. I had two choices. I could put it all into one company, and then the other company would definitely die, um, or split it between the two companies. And but if I split it between the two companies, then both might die. Um, and you know, when you put your blood, sweat, and tears into creating something and building something, it's like a child. And so it's like, which one am I going to let one starve to death? I couldn't bring myself to do it, so I, put, I, I split the money between the two. Fortunately, thank goodness, uh, they both came through. What was your biggest failure, and how did it change you? Well, there's a ton of failures along the way, that's for sure. Like, so for, as, as I said, for, for SpaceX, the first three launches failed, and uh, we, we, we actually were just barely able to scrape together enough parts and, and money to do the, the fourth launch. If that fourth launch had failed, we would have been dead. So, multiple failures along the way. Um, I, I tried very hard to, to get the right expertise in for, for SpaceX. I tried hard to, to find a great uh, chief engineer for the rocket, but it, not, the good chief engineers wouldn't join, and the bad ones, well, there was no, no point in hiring them. So I ended up being chief engineer of the rocket. Um, so if I could have found somebody better, then we would have maybe had less than three failures that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. So many people try to talk me out of starting a ride company. It was, it was crazy. One good friend of mine collected a whole series of videos of rockets blowing up and made me watch those. He just didn't want me to lose all my money. We're doing these things that uh, seem unlikely to succeed. And we've been fortunate and at least thus far, they have succeeded. Now is the time to take risk. You don't have kids. As you get older, your obligations increase. And once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that uh, before, you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. How did you figure? you were going to start a car company and be successful at it. Well, I, I didn't really think Tesla would be successful. I thought we would most likely fail. But I thought that we at least uh, could address the false perception that people had that an electric car had to be ugly and slow and, and boring like a golf cart. But you say you didn't expect the company to be successful? Then why try? If something's important enough, you should try, even if you, the probable outcome is failure. Or how do you think about making a decision when everyone tells you this is a crazy idea? Or where do you get the internal strength to do that? Well, first of all, I'd say I actually think I, I, think I fear, feel fear quite strongly. Um, so it's not as though I just have the absence of fear. I've, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there are just times when something is important enough, you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of fear. I, I think about what's what technology solution is necessary in order to achieve the particular goal and then try to make as much progress in that direction as possible. I think the being a multi-planet species and being out there among the stars is important for uh, the long-term survival of humanity 
and uh, that's one reason. Um, but then the part that I find personally most motivating is that it creates a sense of adventure and it makes people excited about the future. Um, you know, if you consider two futures, one where uh, we are forever confined to Earth until eventually something terrible happens, or another future where we are out there on many planets, maybe even going beyond the solar system, um, I think that second version is incredibly exciting and inspiring, and there need to be reasons to get up in the morning. You know, life can't just be about solving problems. Otherwise, what's the point? There's got to be things that people find inspiring uh, and make life worth living. When my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, sm a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA, and uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day, uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period, and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So, uh, work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's, that's the, the thing I would, I would say, if, if you, particularly if you're starting a company. What, whatever area that you get into, um, given that, you know, even if you're, if you're the best of the best, there's always a chance of failure. So, I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Uh, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. I mean, you, you're, it'll just, it, it's, it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you, you just really can't make it work, I think.